Good afternoon, it is your girl Tracy AWM and today we're gonna talk about a masquerader kit. Now you're probably asking what the heck exactly is a masquerader kit? And if you talk to different masqueraders, they may have their own different definition. But for me, a masquerader kit is anything that's gonna help me be prepared for any type of snafu or issue with my costume to include poor fit or malfunction of the costume. It saves time to be able to fix these things yourself so you don't have to take your costume back to the mask camp and wait potentially hours for someone to do it for you. You can just save time by fixing it yourself. And poor fit happens, it happens a lot. Whether you ordered a size that you hope to be or you ordered a medium but the people that make a medium actually look more like a small. These types of things happen, so it's very important that you have your masquerader kit on hand so that you're prepared for whatever could possibly come your way during your masquerade experience. You should always pack a very plain swimsuit bottom and bra. And that's because sometimes, even though you ordered a medium, whomever made your costume or your body wear doesn't recognize your medium as their medium. And there can be a serious discrepancy with the fit. Having said that, sometimes the mask bands, if they did their own production on the body wear, they're able to help you and they'll, they'll be able to accommodate that problem that you have. But some mask bands do not do their own production and they may not have a seamstress in-house to help you fix your costume. And you may be resigned to taking the gems off the panty that you received and using your hot glue gun to stick them on to in your swimsuit bottom. I've seen this happen a lot, especially when it comes down to wire bras. A lot of ladies, we order, they, they ask us, you know, what bra size we wear for a wire bra. I tell them I wear a 32 triple D and then they give me a triple D cup and that's not the right size conversion. And the bra entirely does not fit you well. You'll do your best to try to mold it. You're still spilling out of it. It's unsightly. Pacey's is not gonna save or you just did not want to expose yourself that much. What you can do, some people wear their swimsuit bra up underneath or they just take whatever material that is on that bra and they stick it on to the bra that they had as a backup. I cannot tell you how many times a backup bra and panty I have seen save many lives on the road. So just pack, just pack it, you never know. The next thing I wanna talk about is a sewing kit, okay? What I really like about this kit is it already has scissors, it has a lot of needles, uh, safety pin. Sometimes you might need to use a safety pin to clip something to your costume or clip something together. Um, you may need to seam, cut the seam and reinforce your panty or something that's on there that's hanging off. Um, this is probably a gold standard of masquerader kits. And I really like this kit mainly because it has a lot of different colors that you'll be able to probably use that will blend very well into the costume that you have. I have um, seen people use the thread to tighten panties. I've seen people use the thread to reinforce a gym that has holes um, that was falling off. I've also seen people use the thread to sew their, uh, their pantyhose or their leggings uh, to their panties so it's not floating above their waist and detracting from the costume. And we'll talk a little bit about how to do that in my upcoming video on wearing leggings. So if you want to know where you can get a sewing kit like this, I actually have it in my Amazon storefront. Um, it's super helpful and you definitely want to keep one of these on hand. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe you might have a problem with your costume or your road buddies might have an issue with your costume. You're definitely going to be a lifesaver if you have this on you. Another item that I recommend is a hot glue gun and corresponding glue sticks. Now you can definitely go to like craft stores like Michael's and get like a cheap craft glue gun but I will tell you from my own personal experience those craft glue guns and the glue that comes with it aren't really effective with holding things like feathers and gems to fabric. I highly recommend that you go to like your nearest Lowe's or you can also get this from my Amazon storefront. Um, go to Lowe's or another uh, home improvement store and pick up a professional grade glue gun. This is the types of glue gun and glue that a lot of your mask bands use, especially when it comes down to do the feather work. Um, it's, it seals very well. It definitely holds everything together. You do have to give your feather work or your gym some cure time. I would recommend at least 12 to 24 hours. Um, you can probably get away with wearing it a lot sooner, but you definitely want this glue 
to completely dry down and cure to hold things in place. I do not know how many times a glue gun has saved my skin. I remember I got a costume and the feather fell off and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna fix it myself or um, a gym fell off. I could just fix it myself. I actually use my glue gun to make pasties. I have a video on that if you wanna know a little bit more. Um, this glue gun is also a gold standard of a masquerader kit. Strongly recommend that you get one. E6000 is a godsend. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> Some strong ass glue. Um, a lot of mask camps use this to affix your gems to uh, your headpieces and things like that. The downside with E6000 is that not only is it very pricey, um, but it definitely requires a very lengthy cure time. I'm talking about 24 plus hours. And this is where we talk about, make sure you try on your costume as early as possible. You need to have that, that backward planning time. So just in case there's anything wrong with your costume, you actually have time to repair it and let the glue cure. E6000 definitely needs some curing time. This is also really, really good for uh, gems to fabric or gems to other gems. This has also saved my skin many a time, but if you're in a rush and you just want to get something glued on and you don't have time for this to cure, I strongly recommend that you use a hot glue gun and the glue. Last but not least, pasties, pasties, Pasties. If you are wearing a wire bra, I strongly recommend that you always have a pair of pasties up underneath. But this will come in handy, especially if you put your wire bra on and it doesn't matter how much you shape or mold that bra, you got some major nipple slip happening. And of course, I don't think anybody wants to show their nipples in a wire bra, right? I've been using these pasties since I have been playing mass. This has been the gold standard of pasties for me. And the beautiful thing is that Carnivalista smoothies now come in four shades. Um, be sure to check out the product. My code is AWM2021. Um, so if you're ready to stock up on your pasties or other carnival accessories that you might need on the road, be sure to use my code. They have fantastic products. And that is a quick rundown of essential items that you may need for your masquerader kit. Experienced masqueraders, you know what to do. Go ahead and sound off below in the comments. What items am I missing? What feedback or words of advice do you have for the inexperienced masqueraders? We're definitely a community and it's all about helping each other. Until next time, talk later.